With the explosion of middle-class housing and new businesses in the valley, bricks have become the new currency as well as an expression of success and opulence. But where do these gritty bars come from, and who makes them? Having a look into the brick business, Animal Nepal and other concerned citizens have found some shocking stories. Stories of child labor and animal abuse. This short film focuses on the latter although child labor in Nepal is worthy of an expose as well. But what enables us to live comfortably in our new earthquake-proof constructions and office towers is in large part brought to us on the backs of the suffering Nepali brick kiln donkey. The Kathmandu Valley hosts over 500 brick kilns that employ over 60,000 children and an unknown number of donkeys as pack mules who carry thousands of kilos of bricks every day in the pits with crude harnesses that chafe open and infected wounds. In return, they receive no health care and very little nutrition, barely enough to keep them alive in humping bricks. If a donkey breaks a leg or gets too sick to work, they are often left in the field to die and denied even meals from their former foreman. However, there is new hope for these suffering animals. Animal Nepal, in association with the Himalayan College of Agricultural Sciences and Technology, as well as other concerned citizens, have mounted a rescue. Armed with medical supplies and trained staff, this group is visiting the brick kilns with a few goals in mind. To provide first aid and supplies for working donkeys, to educate owners, contractors, and laborers regarding the proper welfare and treatment of animals to provide improved harnesses that prevent wounds. In addition to these health camps, Animal Nepal is helping to establish a formal donkey outreach program that will create a donkey sanctuary for discarded donkeys, establish a donkey adoption program in which schools, children's homes, and individuals can adopt an unwanted donkey, open a pharmacy where medicines are made available to donkey owners at reduced cost, and advocate for better conditions for working donkeys with the Nepali government. But now let's visit a recent health camp and find out what's going on there, direct from the donkey's mouth, so to speak. So today, what kind of program did you do? Okay, we have visited two kilns, and we have treated more than uh, 90 donkeys here, mm -hmm. and most of them have wound on their skin and we dress the wound and we provide antibiotics in severe cases and besides treating the external wounds we provide them anti-almanthic alandazole to every donkeys except those which are pregnant and besides providing anti-almanthic we provide them tetanus vaccine. How did you feel about the conditions of the donkeys? I mean this is your first time you saw them right? Yeah of course. Actually, the condition is pitiable because donkeys which are pregnant, they are also working. Donkeys which are ill, they are also working. And donkeys which have just given birth or which have just parturated are also compelled to work soon after their parturation. They are not provided enough rest. Mm -hmm. And regarding the nutrition and management, the management condition is too poor. So I think we need to organize some programs about managmental aspect or caring of donkeys. So what kind of program do you think we should organize? We have to organize some three days package at least so we can teach them how to manage. Inside management we can teach them how to feed the animal, how to breed the animal and how to take care of it. You know, feeding, breeding and caring of health are paramount aspect and 
we need to focus on this topic and we need to convince them the necessity of regular deworming, regular vaccination and immediate uh, help of veterinarians in case of uh, uh, emergency. In order for Animal Nepal and other partners to continue this work, we need your help. Help is appreciated in many ways. Your time as a volunteer visiting brick kilns with the medical teams, as well as your donations of medical supplies or funds to support future medical camps at the over 500 brick kilns in need of these services. Land is also needed to establish a donkey sanctuary where discarded donkeys can be nursed back to health and repatriated within the community. There are many ways to help these suffering animals, which for most of us in Nepal, provide a service that allows us to live in safe, comfortable homes built with a Nepali brick. Sharing a bit of that comfort is the least we can do for the brick kiln donkey.